guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Anna's Period Talk. Now, yes, in the last video, which was Monday's video, which I filmed this on Sunday night, because then tomorrow I'm going to be scheduling all these, these videos to upload on certain days, since I can schedule videos to upload and everything like that, so mainly I'm scheduling videos, just in case I won't, just in case I'm not home or anything like that, I don't have to really worry about it, so I'm going to go ahead and get my filming done and editing done. And just schedule it to upload so I don't have to worry about videos on certain days. But I am trying to have this thing where I'm going to upload on Mondays and Fridays. So look forward to my videos on Mondays and Fridays. I really don't know what time for everybody. Uh, mainly I've been putting it on local time, which is my local time. Um, some of my videos on my main channels and everything have been going up at 4 p.m. So mainly, I really don't know. Um, yeah, so pretty much. Anyways, um, you yeah, know, welcome to your Friday video. This is going to be my embarrassing period story. Now, this is not really embarrassing, like, blood went all over the place. It's not really, but this happened at school. It happened in 7th grade. I'm going to ninth grade. By the way, I'm homeschooled, but I was still in public school. Um, <clears throat> I was still in public school at the time, and I was in 7th grade. So, yeah. So this all took place in 7th grade. This all took place in my 4A, 4B class, which was, which, 4A part of it, and then you have 4B, which is the same class. But, um, uh, mainly, this happened in that class. I, that's right. So, second period, which is math class, which nothing took place. Mainly, I started my period in second period. Started my period in second period. <laughs> Um, yeah, I started my period in second period. I know it's funny, but, um, anyways, cramps weren't all that bad. I didn't start when I got home, like, before I left home. I have pads and stuff with me, but I don't carry pain medicine or anything like that with me, which is probably a good idea, but I really don't want to get, I really didn't want to get caught with, you know, a purse search and they see, like, medicine in my purse without knowing anything. So I really don't take medicine to school unless I've already started my period and it's like my first few days when I have like the really bad cramps and I already took some before I left the house but, I, but the pain reliever medicine is about to go like go about to go out of my system like around lunch time. So mainly I did take caplets and stuff but I did not take any kind of medicine with me when like on my first day of my period because I never knew when I was going to start and I could start any time. So... Man, this is how it's all played out. Okay. Um, second period I started. Third period I was fine. I, I had these really bad cramps. Uh, fourth period, man, when that's when the cramps and the, my period got heavier and everything. I did go home to that day. I couldn't handle the cramps anymore, so I went to the nurses and the nurse figured out what was wrong. Because I really didn't want, I really don't like, I know the nurse should know about periods and everything like that, but I, I really don't like talking about my period, you know, especially when it was way before this channel and everything, and I was so nervous, you know, I was like, I went to the nurse and everything, I was like, you don't have a fever, everything, and she's like, did you try going to the bathroom, and I'm like, yeah, I tried going to the bathroom, which, this was like, after the was tell you, but I'm just going to tell you story, um, and I was like, I went to the bathroom, I went to the bathroom, but it was not, you know, diarrhea or anything like that, she was like, are you on your menstrual cycle or on your period? I'm like, yes, ma'am. And she's like, okay, you, you want me to call your mom? And I'm like, yes, ma'am. Like, my period cramps were so bad. Like, I could not stand it. Even though it don't last all that long, but it feels like it lasts forever, especially if you don't have any medicine in your system. So, anyway, I, got, I went home that day. I got my stuff and I, got, I went home. So... Before that happened, before I went to the nurse's office, and before we went to lunch and everything, um, anytime I passed gas, that felt like my cramps got a little bit lighter, but it came right back. There was this girl sitting right behind me. Yes, there was this girl sitting right behind me, and mainly our desk was like in a row, like, there was people in front of you, like, straight behind you and stuff. So, she was, like, the last person. I was, like, the second from the last person, like, in a row, like, up and down, you know? And it, 
I accidentally slipped one out. Like, I didn't, it wasn't loud. It was like one of those SPDs, but it's not like Medelli Farts or something like that. And it was very, very hilarious. And I went all about my business, like doing my work and everything. I act like I'm not in pain because I'm period cramps. And I was just writing stuff down, you know, doing my work. And about two or three minutes later, the girl right behind me said, Ooh, it's somebody farting. Like, she, she said it out loud. <coughs> And I did not say it was me, because it would be so embarrassing if I said it was me, because people would be calling you, oh, you fart, you fart girl, or whatever, like, some kind of, like, thing like that. So I didn't say anything. And so I went about my business, and I farted again. Like, still, silent but deadly, and everything. It helps. Trust me. It helps. To me, it does. Just a little bit it helps if you fart. Sometimes, like, most of the time I can't fart when I'm up here, especially if I have a little, like, cramps and everything like that. Mainly, I, I done these little SPDs, which I think period farts smell bad. They're regular farts when you're not on your period. Oh, it, it just stinks. But, mainly I went on and I farted again and I was doing my work still and the girl behind me said again, Whew, somebody farted again and... And then one of my friends was like right across the classroom and he was looking at me and I'm like, mm-mm, no, not me, mm-mm. And he, he started shaking his head and I'm like, mm-mm, no, not me. And, um, mainly it was me, but I just said, it's pretty embarrassing. I know it's, I know farting's probably a life, but it, it's just so embarrassing, especially when a girl, like, yells at you, you're so embarrassed, which she didn't say it was me. She probably kind of knew it was me, because I didn't say anything. Me and her was kind of friends, you know, we really wasn't good friends, but we did talk to each other, like, if we needed each other's help on work and everything. But it was so embarrassing. But that was before I got sent home, which I didn't get sent home, but I, I wanted to go home because my cramps were so bad. This was a Friday, so really I wasn't missing anything um, in my rest of my class. I didn't have no test or anything, so really I wasn't missing anything. I did miss a little bit of work, but I didn't miss anything. But really Monday, I was back at school because my period cramps and got lower, which I still had some, but it wasn't that bad. So really I could manage it and everything like that. But really this was the first day of my period, so I can't really manage it. But, yeah. <laughs> These are like... It's not the only embarrassing story I had. I do leak or do stain or whatever it's called. Like all the time on my period, especially when I'm asleep and I don't have those I really don't wear those extra long pads. But really that's like my embarrassing period story. I farted and this girl kept me yelling behind me. It was so hilarious. I wanted to laugh so bad. And oh my it, it was a pretty hilarious day. Especially to get your mind off things. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, big thumbs up. I do upload on Mondays and Fridays. Every once in a while, if I want to get a video between now and between during the week, I can. But mainly, I'm trying to stay at Monday and Friday schedule. Let me know if you really like this schedule. If you really don't, let me know. I will change up. I might change up in a few weeks or a few months. You never know how long this will last. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next period related video. So, bye.